Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the setup of your FTP server. So we can easy to set up FTP server in your so home. So how to set up? What is the full form of FTP server means file transfer protocol. So what kind of the requirements we need to set up our FTP server? So without having any private cloud servers and everything right okay now you can see what is the requirement means you can uh, you can use any old router or any just like a nokia router whatever it may be router and any pen drive so anything just pen drive is a storage capacity pen drive so normal 1 gb or 10 gb whatever it may be so depending on your pen pen drive capacity so the router can ready to capture that much of storage data Okay, so we need to just set up this kind of the router and pen drive and I will show some screens to you. So you can set up as it is like this and now you can run the FTP server. Okay, so now you can see the router is look like this. So any just router or old router you can take and you can see that connections ports are there. You can just keep it any just um, connections like this and uh, ready to keep your pen drive also like this area so same as is what in your screens how what i'm showing so do it same as it is now we go over with a processor so after connection setup just you can open your um, screen and on your uh, laptop or any desktop order maybe you can uh, connect your so that router uh, network connection so then after connecting of that but just simply you can type that uh, ftp like a 192.1 that is my router ip address you can just check that ip address of your router and you can type ftp so 192.168.1.1 uh, i just used and next one in that uh, user id password both are using that the admin and admin only so simply click on ok so then you can see in this area so you will get that is a like a informations will be there servers are there servers informations will be there so in that informations you can select ftp right so where is the ftp will be there you can click on ftp and now so in that ftp you can just give your um, address I mean, already it will be there now i just i'm going to use our uh, user id and the password also you can mention whatever it may be if you want to uh, create your uh, uh, ftp server you can provide your user id and as well as password also you can provide and uh, two times you can provide it and simply you can click on save then automatically what will happen how much of a pen drive storage capacity will be there so that much of capacity of a ftp server has so created that's a simple area so now the ftp server has created in your local machine Whatever maybe uh, in that area you can see I'm going to check that whether this kind of the FTP server is running or not in that pen drive. So what kind of the data will be ready to get in this area. So we can check. Now you can see. Um, go to your uh, so any uh, like a, a computer um, my computer place and you can simply type in a uh, main uh, URL. So you can type the FTP colon double backslash and 192.168.1.1 that is my local uh, router IP address number. So here the user ID and password when I'm just entered and is simply I click on enter in our keyboard then it will ask the user ID and password. Just now what I created user ID password I just given and simply click on so log on. You can see all the files which we contain in our pen drive so it will be available so perfectly now this is a setup of your ftp server in your local machine local area so you directly you can copy any kind of the files in your uh, ftp server or we can ready to get a data from your ftp server also so that is a very simple area we can copy from here and we can write to save okay for example if you are going to use this kind of the ftp server in this area okay this is good if not for example i want to use any kind of the um, ftp server uh, like a methods or any just um, mediated type of applications are there or not means we can use the one of uh, file jilla software right so this is also one of the ftp server protocol so 
file transfer protocol information. So it will be transferred the data from the local machine to FTP server. You can simply type that as a file Jilla. So file Jilla, you can simply type in a URL and simply you can check that this, uh, this is the file Jilla uh, like a information. You can just download in a free of cost. So there's the first one is showing that is a free of cost. And simply you can just click on download on your file Jilla FTP server. So not for the SFTP, not for anything, right? Simply I just click on a uh, file Jilla server of download, free download. You can see the download was started. So when I'm going to just click on the download button, so it will complete the download and then it will try to run it. So we'll see that uh, whether the download has to start right. So the downloads has started and now you can see I'm going to just uh, set up a, a file Jilla like a FTP server in our local machine whatever maybe if you want to use a uh, laptop or desktop whatever it may be. So simply I'm going to just click on next and next next like this. So then uh, it will complete the 100%. Yes, it was completed. Now you can see now the file Jilla was first time it was opened. This is a file Jilla main page. Now I'm going to give a server information like FTP server information. You can see I'm just providing the FTP server information from this clicking on a new site. And now I'm going to provide there is a uh, username and password of uh, FTP server which we already contain, right? So I'm going to provide it. First of all, I need to change some of the names of the uh, that is a server name or something I want to change. I'm going to provide the user ID and password also. We can click it. Right. So user ID and password we need to provide. First of all, it is just I'm um, taking as a Nokia. Just that is an example I given. So that is a Nokia uh, router. That's why I just I provided the new term. So Nokia. So now this user ID and password also we need to mention. Okay, simply I'm going to click on right. So you can it will be right to save right. Right after completion of this one. Now I'll just I'm going to refresh this uh, file Jilla uh, server information. And I'm just going to check whether it is working or not. This kind of the file Jilla FTP server is working or not. We need to check. So that's the reason you can see I'm going to connecting with that site. Then now it is not connecting. So we'll take some time and it will try to connect it again and again. So we'll see whether it is a uh, your user ID, password and uh, FTP server information. So everything will be same. So perfectly it will try to run then automatically it will try to connect right now you can see I'm going to connect it again so simply I'm going to connect it <coughs> right so now it, now it was connected now you can check that uh, so these FTP server has connected and the, all the files in a pen drive. So what uh, we really need to show everything it will be available. The left side is a totally your uh, local machine like a so computer information and files and everything and right side will be showing as a total FTP server information only. So whenever you want to just transfer this data from just simply you can um, right click on your file and you can copy and you can paste it in a right side. So we can easy to transfer the data from local machine to FTP server or FTP to so local machine. So we can easy to do that. This is a very simple process to make it as a FTP server. Okay, so very simple process. You can you will also if you have any kind of the old routers or anything is there. So you can do so as in your home. And if you have any problems while using any other routers or anything, you can just ping me in a comments we'll check it okay so thank you thank you very much for watching bye